Hello, geometry students. Today's learning target is to talk about the area of a sector. So the area of a sector is a portion of a circle in units squared. What I mean by that is, if you look at the picture to the right, we're trying to find this area that I'm highlighting in green. So area, remember, is always squared units. So we just talked about arc length. Arc length was the central angle over 360 times the circumference. Well, here, if we want to find the area of a sector, we're going to multiply by the area. And we know the area is given by the formula to uh, pi r squared. So the area of a sector, if you're looking for the formula, is equal to the central angle over 360 times pi r squared. So let's take a look at the example to the right. So the area of that sector, so I'll say a as for abbreviation for area of a sector, is going to be equal to 80 over 360 times pi times the radius, and the radius in this example is uh, 6 squared. So I'm going to show you how to do this on your calculator. So we're going to say 80 divide by 360 times, I'm not going to type in the pi yet, I'll say 36 or 6 squared. So I knew 6 squared was 36, but let's suppose you didn't. You could type in 80 divided by 360 times 6 squared. So you get 8. So the area of this sector is 8 pi, and we'll say units squared. And then if you were to multiply 8 times pi, you're going to get approximately 25.13 units squared. So the area of a sector is central angle over 360 times pi r squared. Let's take a look at example number one. We want to find that area, that shaded region. So the area of the sector is going to be 131 over 360, central angle over 360, times pi times the radius, which is 12 squared. I'm going to type that into my calculator. 131 divided by 360 times 12 squared. And when you do that, you'll see 52.4. So it's 52.4 pi. And then I'm going to say multiply by pi. And then there's the decimal approximation. So the area of the sector, when you typed it in, was 52.4 pi meters squared. And you saw on the calculator when I typed it in, I got 164.62 meters squared. So that 61 rounds up to 62. Example number two on the right. Again, area of a sector is the central angle. So the central angle here is 25 degrees because the arc measure is 25 degrees. So 25 over 360 times pi times the radius, which is 5. And I'm going to square that. Typing that in my calculator, I get this is equal to 1.761 repeating pi feet squared. And I'm actually going to type this into the calculator so you can see that. So it would be 25 divided by 360 times 5 squared. So that's how I came up with that number. And then I'm going to say multiply by pi. So the answer is going to be 5.45. feet squared. Okay, for practice, why don't you pause the screen and try these problems, and then come back and check to see how you did. Okay, so let's see how you did on the three practice problems. So for the problem on the left, you would say 90 divided by 360 times pi times 4 squared. 
going through the math, you can see the answer is 4 pi units squared, or 12.57 units squared if you multiply pi into the answer. For number two, you can see the highlighted answer in yellow is the decimal. And for problem number three, you first had to find 120 degrees. You needed to do that by doing 180 minus the 60. So that's how I got the central angle of 120. Typing that in my calculator, I get 8.3 repeating times pi. And then when I typed 8.3 repeating times pi, I got my final answer. And I'm going to show you the calculator on how I did that one. So for the third problem there, I'm going to say 120 divide by 360 times 5 squared. So there's the 8.3 repeating. And then multiply that by pi is how I get the final answer, 26.18.